that conversation with them. When we look at lead changes, it's it's a it's a very unique skill that it's so natural for a horse. If you watch them in a pasture, they're running, they swap leads so naturally. And that's the feel that you should have on your polo horse out in the polo game. Um, the biggest thing to help you is just to look and have a plan. You know, you'll be in a circle to the right and you're gonna change and go to the left. So circle to your right, be in a nice circle or direction and know where you're gonna ask for the change and where you're gonna go. Keep your, you see my chin's up and I'm looking. I'm not down here concentrating on on the lead. Um, you can look at that later if you need to, to check if they have, have switched. But if you'll watch our body motion, you just really wanna keep that horse moving forward and then ask him to change direction slightly. You don't wanna whip him over. You wanna just be real smooth. And again, if he misses the lead change in back, I like to let him drop to a trot for a step in back and pick it right up. And they tend to get it a little quicker that way. If you'll watch my body here, we ease them into the lope and go ahead and let them really establish that they're in the right lead. Make yourself a circle or just really be going to the right. Now's where you start making your plan. Not, where are you gonna change leads? How are you gonna get this done? Pick your spot very early, a lot earlier than where you are. I usually let them move out just a little bit. You're gonna change direction with your hand and your legs. Now he's missed it in the back, so I'm not going to freak out on him. I'm going to let him trot and pick it up. He has a tendency to miss him going that direction in his back lead, but it's okay. I'm not going to die over it. We'll do it again here the other direction. Forward motion going along. Going to make a plan early. I'm going to move him towards the left. Now ask for the right. Okay, good. He missed it in the back, but that's okay. He's getting stage fright. So ease him over these boards. Good. Everything you do in these workouts, when you're schooling your horse to make him better in tournaments, keep it cool, keep it cool. It's the most important thing. He picked it up, he missed it, but then changed it himself right quickly there. And he's cool about it. If I got mad at him, whipped him, did any of those things with this horse, he's too fragile and he would really, really not be doing well. Keep everything calm there. Good. So that's your lead changes. Forward motion, make your plan early. You're going in the left lead to the left then you're gonna to change to the right, ever so slightly with your hand across the neck and your outside leg. I also smooch, I, make a, I have a little voice command with it. Depends on the horse if you need to do that or not. I like voice commands, it really helps the horse. Um, you know, just like anything else, your hands, your legs, and your voice, that's how you communicate with these guys.